She was a lively and talented young woman, full of promise. He was her neighbour, an intelligent, quiet man who lived with his girlfriend, but with a deceitful and calculating side. Joanna Yates and Vincent Tabak only met once. Within ten minutes, he'd killed her. CCTV captured the last few hours of Joe's life, first at the Bristol Ram pub, where she'd met up with friends for drinks after work. She left at eight o'clock that evening, stopping off at several shops on the way home. At 8.40, she's on a security camera at Tesco's buying a pizza and an off-license where she bought cider, arriving at her flat in Canning Road at around quarter to nine. Then she disappeared. <laughs> I'll bear the thought of it. Her parents, David and Teresa, pleading for help in finding her, were inconsolable. I'm missing being able to hold her, and cuddle her, and just say everything's all right. And I just want her back, wherever she is. Joe, my little Joe, come back. It would be another nine days before her frozen body was discovered on a country lane on Christmas morning. She'd been strangled. A month later, Vincent Tabak was arrested and charged with murder. During his trial, he admitted killing Joe, but denied it was pre-planned. On that cold December evening, Tabak, who lived in the flat adjoining Joe's, claimed he was on his way out, when Joe saw him through her kitchen window, waved to him and invited him in. What followed, he said, happened in that kitchen. Several minutes after arriving, he said he tried to kiss her, claiming she'd made a flirty comment. But she screamed loudly and he panicked, and he put his hands round her neck and squeezed. Within twenty seconds, Joe was dead. He then carried her body to his flat, put it in a bicycle cover, and then lifted it into the boot of his car. He also took the pizza she'd bought earlier. He'd begun covering his tracks. CCTV captured him driving around that evening and visiting a local Asda store where he shopped for crisps and beer. All the while, Joe's body was in the boot of his car. Yet he appears cool and calm and detached as he texted his girlfriend who was out that night saying he was bored. He was carrying on as normal. He was, the court heard, dishonest, shrewd and manipulative. Joanna Yates was his unfortunate victim. For her parents, Tabak not only stole her life, but stole her from them. Sejal Karia, ITV News.